been feeding on me. My soul. Please, take it back from them. <laughs> Not ready yet. Damn, we got some cool items. When do we receive all these fucking rare socketed items? Sick. This is the teeming weapon. Oh shit, can we we can't unsock it here, can we? We have to go back to the gem crafter. So one rank of rupture. One percent total armor, four plus four on life on kill. That's legit. I just wish I could unsock it here. Oh, fucking emeralds. They gave us 6% critical strike damage to vulnerable enemies. But then you got topazes that give us 10% basic, basic skill damage. Hmm. Interesting. This is better though, right? I just don't like the... the magical properties that this rare has like the 15.5 lightning resistance i'm not really seeing like any lightning damage here plus four life regeneration while not damaged recently i don't know what that means and plus 2.5 percent crowd control duration i almost like what i mean look it gives us plus 44 armor so honestly it doesn't really fucking matter like we're just going to go with it just the fact that it gives us plus 44 armor. So I don't want to sock at a diamond. See, plus 3% barrier generation, but I haven't seen any type of generation of barrier, so we'll do it. But I'm not seeing shit. I probably got, should have gone with something different. Alright. I, I have no idea where those rare items. They just seem to like come out of nowhere. I must have like... There must have been a chest. That I must have got them and I just wasn't paying attention. 
Loot's crazy in the game. Still no legendaries, though. Not ready yet. I do love that, um, those chains. Kind of reminds me of, um, Smite. With Ares. Like, Ares in that game has chains. His ultimate. I think. Let's, uh, let's finally clear this. Who the fuck? I don't even know what that is. Is that a necromancer? Oh, I can't even see out on the field, right? So, uh, that's a dungeon primarily for the, uh, for the necromancer. But then it says that we only get a chest rewarded on the first completion. That blows. We'll do it, though. We will do the dungeon just to do it.
I thought they rewarded you a chest with completion every time you did it. Just the legendary aspect um, for the codex. Alright, so the vacant holes. looking dungeon my only worry is once we unlock all the dungeons once we unlock all these or them. Is there any point of going back at them? my only gripe is my only concern not gripe is um like if i start a secondary character which obviously i have like the dungeons being completed do those as the code aspects the legendary aspects carry over to those characters because if so then there's no need for me to do those dungeons unless i get the chest right doing crit got owned.
cursed chest is complete. Oh, we got a two socketed pair of uh, rare pants. Now, what happens? Because we already got leap. We got two ranks of leap. So now, what happens? Like, do we get a skill point back? Let's check it out. Um. 5.5% damage to close enemies, 6% vulnerable damage, and 4.5 crowd control, so. Probably take that, but I. Damn, I'm losing the socketed item. You know what? I might want to keep the socketed. Just might want to keep it. Lucky ring. So we have a 2.5% lucky hit chance. Of course we're going to take that. Why wouldn't we? Oh, we're going to lose the shot, right? It doesn't matter. It's not like we were using it anyway. Um, Alright. At least we're getting more socketed equipment. That's cool. I mean, the only thing that sucks about this is it's a good weapon. I mean, it gives us a little better damage. It's just, I don't want to lose a socketed item. For something that's not really that much, like, it's plus 13 damage per second. And the damage range goes up about maybe 12. Or 14. We are we do gain 4.5 critical strike damage. But I'm just liking what that socket item gives us. Alright, so let's see um what's transmog. That's transmog. But we gotta unsocket it first. Transmog. That's a socketed um Magical. Transmog. Another transmog. That's it. Alright. So we got a few transmogs, which is cool. Two-handed, 2% 2 direct damage deal. And we get bleeding damage.
I love those because it's like a scorpion get over here kind of thing. And I just group them all up for the giant swing. Yeah, I just pull them all together and then whirlwind the shit out of them. Put them right in the fucking tornado mix-up. So we got some objectives there. We could save that for a second. Should we keep on pushing forward here? I think there's like an opening here that we haven't explored. Oh, that's locked off. So I guess we gotta slay the night hunters in that room. As soon as I'm going, I'm just gonna dash in there and just go crazy with my fucking um, rallies. Wait, what? He like resurrected him, kind of like a mage. I'm like, what the fuck? Don't give me that shit. Got a little scared there for a little bit. Alright, so travel to the unsanctioned reliquary. Alright, here we are.
I want to unlock this helm. The look of this helm. We still haven't done that. They're not giving us one to, like, unlock uh, on salvage for the transmog. Definitely want to transmog that helmet right there. Alright, so... This gives us 4.5% critical strike damage, 5.5 vulnerable damage, and 7.5 damage to stunned. You know what? I'm liking the 4.5 critical strike damage over the uh, overpower damage. So we'll probably go with that. And that's a double socketed as well. 15% damage to stunned enemies. Probably had to just do it, right? Forty-three years, I have swept the floors, lit the candles, and welcomed the faithful here to the tomb of our saint Lenora. May she rest in the Father's glory. But the faithful have stopped coming. Though their horses thunder by on the road to Scotland, charging them into the wild to serve the Father. A lucky few, may I the tomb of their home. Perhaps an old monk to care for them, while the world forgets their names. Alright, let me go back and pick up all that stuff. And also explore. Alright, that was pretty much it. Ready yet. 
So one thing I noticed is the leveling definitely took a dramatic, like, uh, slowdown once we hit level 20. Because we were going up the levels quicker. I'm loving the chains. Like that right there is, is a beautiful addition to this build. Especially that it kind of like brings them all and kind of compacts them in one area and I could just go along with my whirlwind. Especially the dudes that just want to stay on the outside, I just pull them in. That was close. God damn. Holy shit. That was no joke. It felt like they threw like six elites at me on that one. We definitely handled our own. I mean, there was a point there that I thought that we were dead. Like, we were kind of, like, frozen, and then, by some miracle, we were, uh, able to break out of that.
All right, what do we got so far? What do we got? Getting so many drops. It's like hard to like make time to just go through this stuff. Um. Yeah, we could probably replace that, right? I'm still liking what I have. Yeah, I'm still liking what I got. Um, don't really need the plus 13 intelligence. I do like the 12 dexterity. Because that adds to the whole critical strike damage. But, um... We'll keep what we have. But we'll definitely use that for transmog. 100%. That's a sorcerer. We're not going to be using... We're not going to be doing the sorcerer, so... Don't need that. This gives us plus 10 dexterity. But minus 21 armor. The druid... Nope. So, I almost want to pull up a teleport, just because I know, like, you know what, I'll just wait for the drops, right? No chustling around somewhere here. Nothing. Nothing to loot. Jeez, I thought we were done and. Give me one second, boys.
All right, guys. I can't lift more. So we're gonna have to go back to town just to um clear up some of this stuff. All right, so the stuff that we could salvage I already marked, and then we'll just. I'm thinking if we just keep on selling until we get to like fifty thousand gold. And then, I mean, I almost want to, like, you know what? Okay. So we'll salvage the rares and we'll sell the magicals. Because I think we should be building up resources. Although these fucking rares are a lot of money, though. But I do want to build up gold. Like, gold is also important as a resource, you know? Decisions, decisions. Father bless. And we also got to repair, right? Not bad. Okay, so let's um let's just do all junk. Right. But I think we should be you know what? We gotta we gotta break the rares. Just to get the the salvage materials out of them. That's for salvage. And then we'll sell everything else. Can I help you? Sure can. Buy some of my shit. Anything else? Wait, why didn't it... Oh, you know what? Shit, we almost... We need to unsocket this shit. Fair trade. Look at that, we're already up to 53,000 gold? Alright. I almost salvaged. Well, thankfully the, the, they didn't allow me to salvage it. I guess maybe because it's socketed. That was a close one. Because I even said it like I Precious gave myself like a mental note. Come and see. All right, so uh, not add socket. Let's unsocket uh, that right there. Okay, dokes. Okay, dokes. Now we can go salvage it. And then I'll go to the treasure chest and pick up some of those gems that we got. I wonder if we could, um... If she could combine whatever we have in the chest. Like, do we really need it in our physical inventory? Alright, so we're transmog and stuff. We're getting stuff for the transmogs. 
Which, you know what? I didn't even get a chance to go there, but I'm just so busy with other shit. Like... I don't want to waste time in the transmog. I really don't. Alright, let's see... What we could do with the gems. Since now we are getting a whole bunch of... Socketed equipment. Let's, uh, let's see what you could do for us. Give us a nice little special. Fine pieces, rare and beautiful. Yeah, let's craft it. That's all we could do. All right. I guess that's all we could do. All right, so let's see what we could add. So, well, we definitely want to get that um, 7.5 critical strike damage. I think we could put that into this one. Then we could do that. Right. Now in armor, should we go with the 15% overpower damage or should we go with the 2.5 maximum life? Maybe we could do 10% basic skill. And then we'll put the life on that. I mean, I'm still not seeing anything about barriers with this, but... At least now we got socketed gems. Look at our strength, 53. Oh, damn. We got two available points that we did not use. Um, Alright, so, I'm wondering if we should, uh, take a break. You know what? We'll play another, thinking that we'll play another 30 minutes, maybe. And then we'll, uh, I'll take a break, eat something, and then we'll come back and just keep on grinding the night away on some Diablo 4. took that shit and he didn't take it good either I mean, what other better barb is there? I got crowd control. I got crits. 
I bowl him up in a chain. I definitely feel good though, like, before I was getting hit harder, now I feel like I'm kind of like sustaining some of that damage, and I'm uh, outputting some, some decent damage compared to what I was putting out before. So whatever changes we made, those little minor adjustments, um, they're, definitely, they're definitely pretty good in coming out in stride. Tomb Lord is no joke. Oh! <laughs> 
What happened to my potions? It took a while. It was no joke. The Tomb Lord. So actually, that's a good ending to the first part of the stream. That shit got dicey, guys. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. My fucking... I was... I didn't know what the fuck was going to happen. I thought I was so close to death. Where I was like, shit, I don't know what to do. I was running around. But, um. We got through it. Oh, shit, this, um. That gave us the chains? What gave us the chains that we lost? I guess we just... Maybe it's plus one rank of all brawling skills. But I see that we don't have the... Uh, we don't have the chains anymore. So let's see. It was the steel grasp. Oh, weapon mastery. Okay. But we gain this, which gives us uh, all brawlin skills. I did love the chains, though. The weapon mastery. 
that was fun. So I guess we'll equip another brawling skill, I guess. Charge seems pretty cool. I'll assign that to left trigger for now. And now in terms of the skills, what we... um. So is it the crude hammer that's the best um, in terms of damage? I'm guessing we'll do the imposing crude hammer, right? Alright. So let's go back. I think we uh, explored everything that we needed to explore. We got all the uh, chest. Let's, uh, let's leave the dungeon. And I'm guessing that we will take a break, go eat something, and then we will be back in about an hour time. Right now we got 8.51 p.m. in the Eastern. And we'll, uh, we'll come back. I mean, right now we're just, we're not really, I mean, we're basically, um, we're just picking up side quests and kind of, like, exploring. We should start doing, like, some of these, um, campaign, um, quests. Yeah, that's what we'll do. We'll do campaign quests, mix in some side quests, and, of course, the fucking dungeons. Those dungeons, man. My fucking butthole was clinched during that boss fight. But, um, yeah, guys, thank you very much for tuning in. It's MelfiSex here on uh, Twitch.tv and YouTube.com slash MelfiSex1. If you guys enjoy or you just want to stay up to date with the videos, definitely give a follow so you get notified whenever I do go live. And same thing for the YouTube. Um, you drop a like, a subscribe. It'll give you any time, you know, anytime I put out videos. Um, it'll notify you guys and you can keep up with all the good content and all the content that I'm putting out there. So, uh... Um, yeah, I'll see you guys in about an hour time, give or take 9.30, more like 10 p.m., we'll, we'll, we'll put at 10 p.m. Eastern, um, until then guys, hopefully I'll see you guys, if not, keep on gaming, and be safe out there.